Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel for auto repair tips. EGR valves are common engine components that can cause frustrating issues if they fail. In today's video, I want to outline the purpose of the EGR system, what can go wrong, and the top signs you might have a problematic EGR valve. This will help you identify issues early and avoid unnecessary engine wear and tear. An EGR stands for exhaust gas recirculation. It's a valve that routes a portion of the engine's exhaust back into the intake and combustion system. By adding some inert exhaust, it lowers peak combustion temperatures, reducing NOx emission. The EGR valve is programmed to open and allow exhaust gas recirculation once the engine reaches normal operating temperature. This prevents issues during cold starts. At high engine loads or RPM, when full power is demanded, the EGR will then close. Over many accumulated miles though, the EGR passageways and valve components become coated and clogged from soot, carbon deposits, and small exhaust particles. This contamination buildup causes the EGR valve to stick or not fully close properly at times. The result is poor engine performance, decreased fuel economy, and increased emissions output. Now, let's outline the most common signs of a bad EGR valve. Number one, a rough or unstable idle speed. Carefully observe the tachometer next time your engine is idling at a stoplight. A healthy idle is steady, but a faulty EGR valve often causes the engine RPMs to oscillate up and down inconsistently. This happens as an open EGR passageway allows excess exhaust gases to enter the intake, causing misfires and combustion variations. Number two, lackluster acceleration. You depress the gas pedal, expecting a prompt surge of power, but instead feel sluggish throttle response. There is just an overall sensation of weak, low-end torque. The root cause is those recirculating inert exhaust gases are taking up space meant for fresh oxygen, resulting in incomplete combustion events. Number three, failing an emissions test. One of the most common early warning signs is seeing that dreaded check engine light illuminate on your dashboard. Stored trouble codes pointing to exhaust gas recirculation faults will inevitably lead to emission system failures. Don't ignore these check engine notifications. Get the trouble code scanned and diagnosed early. Number four, decreased fuel mileage. Allowing excessive exhaust backflow makes an engine less thermally efficient, meaning more fuel is consumed per mile traveled. So over time, as the EGR sticks more, Expect to see gradually dropping fuel economy during steady highway driving. Time to investigate. Number five, engine overheating issues. A faulty EGR valve may become stuck shut, not allowing any exhaust gas to recirculate back to the cylinders. This causes combustion oxygen levels to spike. More available oxygen molecules results in burning more fuel within the confinement of the sealed cylinders, and that leads to increased heat generation, which can overwhelm the cooling system over time. Number six, rattling or knocking noises arising especially under hard acceleration. Sticky EGR components combined with accumulated carbon deposits causes the EGR valve to stick closed, occasionally having zero exhaust buffers. Ignition events happen earlier than the desired timing, translating into loud audible engine vibrations. Left alone, heavy knocks can inflict serious internal damage down the line. And number seven, you may notice a gasoline odor from the tailpipe if the EGR valve sticks open. This happens because the excess exhaust gases entering the cylinders from the open EGR prevent complete fuel combustion. At low speed, unburned fuel then passes into the exhaust untreated, vaporizes from the heat, and smells like gas around the tailpipe. If you're experiencing any of those discussed symptoms, further diagnosis of the exhaust gas recirculation valves is needed. Use a vacuum pump engaged to validate the EGR valve opens and responds to vacuum signals properly. Next, scan any EGR-related fault codes stored in memory, like P0401 and P046. Also, check engine idle RPM behavior by disconnecting the harness connector of the EGR valve. An unchanging idle speed points to the EGR valve likely stuck open. You can also test an EGR valve by applying voltage to its terminals. If the EGR valve doesn't click, it means it is stuck. If tests positively confirm your EGR valve is defective, there are two repair options. First. Try a carbon cleaning service to remove sticky buildup on the valve parts and passageways. If cleaning efforts prove unsuccessful, replacement will be necessary. Plan on a new EGR valve costing between $100 to $200, dollars including labor cost, from your local auto parts store or dealership. If you want more details, be sure to check out my full blog post in the video description. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe my channel for more car repair tips. Thanks for watching.